We also have some more big news that came out of the continent. Now they have been trying to work on a particular trade deal. Now, you know, we all hear about Trump doing his trade deals or whatever, but the continent is finally trying to work with each other and trade with each other because if they don't trade with each other and do for self, then things are not going to work. So what they have taken was a step towards in tackling economic problems, including uh, intra regional trade and a new continent wide free trade agreement. Now it's called the African continental free trade agreement it says it has the potential to boost economic growth on the continent of the 55 nations under the African union and with a combined gross domestic product of more than three trillion and a young expanding population. So think about that $3 trillion that they looking that they can make off of this trade deal. That's a lot of money, especially for the continent. It could turn a lot of things around. Now also a positive to this happening, right? Is that it can eliminate 90% of tariffs and create a single market with free movement of goods and services. So tariffs is nothing but heavy taxation. This is why it's expensive a lot of times to fly to African nations because all the taxes or tariffs that goes along with that. They don't even have a lot of times with some of these airlines flying inside the continent themselves. Let's say you want to fly to Rwanda to go to, let's say, um, Ghana. For instance, a lot of these planes have to go to Europe first, then go back to the continent. That's stupid. You should be able to fly all through the continent. It doesn't matter. So some of these little agreements that they have and some of these tariffs that's going on has been hurting the continent. So 3 billion is good for the economy if they can get that. Now they said 52 countries have signed up though. Nigeria, Africa's largest economy is holding out under pressure from powerful manufacturer lobby and labor groups. AKA probably the Caucasian and probably the Chinese as well, because this is something that's in the continent. This is something they call pan African. Okay. They do not want to listen to me. They do not want Africa to do for themselves. They don't want the Caribbean nations that are black to do for themselves. They don't want the Latin American countries that we have the black people at there. They don't want them to do for themselves. They don't want us here in America to truly be free and do for ourselves. Why? If we do for self, what does it leave them? You have to understand part of the slavery codes was keep black people powerless and in dependence on us. So as long as we are dependent on them for everything, then we can't do for self, which keeps us in a subservient position. So this is why, you know, Nigeria is dealing with those issues and they probably got a lot of money tied in with that. What are they battling with the African union about joining in with this, but Nigeria, you need to go ahead on and sign on because you're going to miss out on some money fooling with these people. You mean you have a, a continent so huge and don't even talk about y'all start trading resources. Oh man. If y'all start trading resources within a continent, man, y'all about to turn the whole continent around like that overnight. Y'all have all the resources in the world. You do. That's why they can't stay out your, your nations because you have it. You got to get in control of your resources and use them on the world market. Also what is interesting that's starting to turn around and that has happened is that African nations are now trading a little bit more with everyone else except for the United States. Now they're trading more with the EU and they're trading more with China. So that's some things that's happening a lot more. So look for Trump to try to get back into Africa because he put his you know, foot in his mouth when he made that little comment. But as I'm looking at here, you know, the United States don't have a foothold like they used to on the continent because you know, they don't want these agreements either because once you have all the brothers and sisters working together, there's nothing that can stop them. A lot of investors as of right now don't invest in the continent at all. They don't. It's actually very low with the investment. Now more people are investing into Asian countries right now, and then it would be North America, which would be you know the United States, Canada, etc. Um, Latin America, Europe, then Africa when it comes to investing. But that will turn around if they get disagreement off the ground. Okay. 
Now their major export out of the continent is natural resources. That's why I'm trying to tell you on the continent, your power is your natural resources. That's where it's at. That's how you turn around your economies and make everybody have some money. Not just the, the politicians, but you guys need the money too. That's why it takes you brothers and sisters that's on these, the continent in these different countries to study your own country's natural resources. We live in the age of information. It's no excuse to be ignorant. It's none. You got smartphones, you got apps to teach you, you got Google, you got everything you can to research what is the natural resources in this country and how can I get involved in trying to extract these resources. If you gotta go to school to learn, whatever, but you guys need to take over your resources and take your countries back from all these different special interest groups, all these other, you know, European countries that's coming in, the Chinese is coming in because you guys will be mounts of moose all over again. If you just get in control of your own resources, but I like this agreement. I believe this agreement could also put a lot of people to work, which a lot of people on the continent need jobs right now. So let's see what's going to happen with this trade agreement is, is major news coming out the continent, something that could really turn them around because I know this much, them folks don't really like that. You guys are going to eliminate 90% of the tariffs. They ain't don't like that. Oh, they don't like that. They've been getting money for a long time out of the continent, but let's see if this is going to happen because there's a lot of people that need to be cut off the, uh, skirt of Africa.